Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a what I ate today video. I always love making these because it's like a food diary in 24 hours. So my first meal of the day was just a bowl of your regular standard old oatmeal. And I was definitely craving something very simple. So I always like to make oatmeal first thing in the morning. It's definitely very satisfying. So I make mine with almond milk and this is my favorite brand from Traders. I like my oatmeal to be a little bit on the watery side. So I like to add a little bit more liquid to this. So I'm just gonna mix that together, pop it in the microwave for about a minute. So once that's all ready, all that I like to do is top my oatmeal off with a little bit of cinnamon. And you can see how watery I like my oatmeal to be. There's nothing worse to me than dry, crusty old oatmeal because I will not eat it. All right, so moving on to my lunch, I was definitely in the mood for a turkey wrap. So I'm using one of these organic whole wheat tortillas from Trader Joe's. And you can stuff these little things with whatever it is that you want. I have some bell peppers here, and I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some grape tomatoes. I love tomatoes, they're so juicy, and oh, this is my favorite lunch because you don't have to cook anything, and you can just really add whatever it is that you want, and it's super quick to make. So I'm also adding in some hummus, so I'm going to spread that on my tortilla and then load everything inside. part for me was trying to figure out how the heck I was gonna roll all of this together but somehow I made it work I love snacks and this was my first snack of the day I'm having here a Greek yogurt filled with lots of protein I believe this is the strawberry flavor I pick mine up from Trader Joe's they're about a dollar for each one and they're pretty tasty as well. So I'm gonna load this up with my favorite granola from NatureBox. And of course, you know me, I love my cinnamon. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this over the top as well with some frozen berries. Next mini meal of the day, pre-dinner snack, I'm making a potato. So I have here a washed and scrubbed potato and I'm going to go ahead and slice these into thin french fry like shapes. And I love potatoes you guys. If I could find a million and one different ways to make them, then I definitely will do that. So these are going to be baked. So I have here my baking tray. And I'm also going to be coating this with a little bit of olive oil spray. Love this stuff. It's super flavorful. I don't find a difference in standard olive oil. And it just really helps to make fries crisp up as the normal french fries are. So I'm going to toss these onto my pan. And for the seasoning, this is where it's just like mind blowing. If you like spicy food, please try this out. I'm using the Mrs. Dash Extra Spicy. It's a salt free flavoring and it's so Good. I like to make these fries because it almost tastes very Cajun-like. It's so good. The trick to getting these crisp up in the oven just like fries is to make sure you have them spread out in an even single layer. Now I'm going to pop these in a 400 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes making sure that you flip them halfway through. It, a super easy snack that's ready to go and you can serve it up with your favorite condiment on the side for my next and final meal is dinner and I always like to have something different because I get sick of eating the same thing over and over and chicken to me it can taste pretty boring when you basically eat chicken all the time so I'm gonna be baking my chicken in the oven tonight and I'm going to salt and pepper this I'm also adding in a little bit of water so it stays moist in the cooking process and I'm also going to be adding in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. For some added flavor, I'm going to be sprinkling on my Mrs. Dash chicken seasoning. Again, it's a salt-free 
flavoring and it's really tasty. I like to go kind of ham on this because I love the taste and I like how it kind of bakes up in the oven. So I'm gonna flip it over and sprinkle this on the other side as well. And I'm also going to be using the juice of half of one lemon. I'm gonna let this bake while I prep the other ingredients for the rest of this dish. So we have vegetables. You can't go wrong with a nice hearty green veggie and I am doing zucchini this time around. I'm using a vegetable brush to get off the waxy layer because I don't like the waxiness on my veggies. So I'm just gonna dice these into little coins and then we are going to throw this on the stove to saute. Not till they get mushy or anything. I still want them to have a little bit of a crunch. So I'm going to saute this on a skillet, or in a skillet, with my olive oil spray again, and a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna be using pasta. I buy whatever's on sale, so this is what I had in my cupboard. It's just a whole wheat pasta from Target. And my chicken's done, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up while my pasta cooks up. And I just like to cut these into strips, nothing fancy. And I actually ended up adding in pasta sauce into my zucchini because we're gonna have chicken pasta tonight. And as you can tell, our pasta is ready. So it's just time to plate everything up. fun documenting my food diary today for you dolls. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comment section below what did you guys eat today?